Auckland's commuters are sending a clear message to politicians of all stripes about the city's traffic woes, and that message is get on with it. National and Labour both unveiled their transport plans for Auckland over the weekend. Labour wants to fast-track light rail to the airport and West Auckland as part of a transport package to be partly funded by a regional fuel tax. Meanwhile, National is pledging to electrify the uh, line, the railway line between Papakura and Pukekohe, south of Auckland City, and start building a third main line between Witte and Westfield. Our reporter Sarah Robson and videographer Claire Easton Farrelly went to find out what transport users think. Kavita is a big user of Auckland's trains. She catches the train from her home out west in New Lynn to Newmarket every day. Uh, basically it's 15 minutes if I go from here to New Lynn. Yeah, so it's quite considered. So I prefer to taking train or something like that. So that's actually quicker than driving? Yes, definitely. Yeah, saving time and plus uh, you don't have to go and look for the car parks and things like that. And so, yeah. So the train system works pretty well for you, doesn't it? Yes, it is perfect. Cherie and Lee are stopping off in Newmarket on their way back to Middlemore from the CBD. They agree that catching the train is something they should be doing more often. We were actually just talking and saying how um, convenient it is and that it saves uh, things like parking and mm. um, worrying about the stress of city traffic and things like that. So um, we're talking about maybe doing it a little bit more often. If I'm going into the city during the week, I never drive because parking's horrendous and you have to make sure that you, you leave before or after rush hour. If I go in the weekend, I'll drive because parking's cheaper, but no, nah, the trains are good during the week. But Cherie and Lee say there's definitely room for improvement and the fact there's no light rail option to the airport leaves a gaping hole in Auckland's public transport network. There definitely needs to be public, better public transport out to the airport. I think it's ridiculous that it's our main airport of New Zealand and you have to either get a bus or a taxi out there. I think there's a need for it now. I think why even wait 10 years? Do it sooner. <laughs> Out at the airport, we asked people who had just arrived in Auckland how they were thinking about getting into the city. Normally we would have family members come pick us up, because sometimes it's quite hectic to get onto public transport. Uh, the sky bus is the plan. Normally I get a taxi um, if I'm up for work, and it's alright, but it's a bit expensive for holidays and stuff, yeah. I thought about public transport, but I guess, I, yeah, I, it was sort of, yeah, probably a bit more of a hassle and I didn't really feel like waiting around. <laughs> One thing they all agreed on was that there should be light rail between the airport and the city. I've travelled a bit in Japan and stuff and the subways and light rail there is awesome. It's cheap, runs really well, it's reliable and you know, dodges all the traffic. It's fantastic. Yeah, I think more people should take you know, public transport. And I think a train, if it's faster, will be better for people to um, use. Yeah, 100%. I love train travel as well. It's it's nice to just sit there and look out the window and chat if you like or have that quiet time instead of stressing out in traffic. But who should pay for these improvements to Auckland's public transport network? Labour wants a regional fuel tax, which means Aucklanders would pay a bit more to fill up their cars. However, these people from the region seemed happy to chip in. Probably benefits the country as a whole, you know, people that travel up here and uh, it would ease up congestion and uh, reduce costs I guess for the NZTA and things like that on the motorways and things there on the other infrastructure so So you wouldn't be opposed maybe, to chipping in a little bit? No, no probably not, council and, and the rest, yeah that would be good. Well I think we all have to pay for it don't we, so <laughs> taxes and the government rest. If you want to live in Auckland then maybe you should have to pay a little bit more but then Auckland's sort of the economic hub of the country so maybe the rest of New Zealand should contribute too. But Aucklanders aren't so sure that's fair. If I live down in Gore, I wouldn't want to pay for Auckland, so I don't think they need the whole country should. But perhaps we can, you know, people that use that transport, like if they did a, a light rail out to the airport, those, you know, tax through the ticket system or something, because people that use it should pay for it, but not people that don't. I feel like we do pay a fair bit in taxes already, um, but I do feel like there needs to be improvement to Auckland Transport, so... Mm. Um, you know, we do have to come up with the money. Labour has pledged to fast track light rail to the airport in West Auckland within a decade. National says while light rail to the airport is a good idea, it's not a priority right now. Motihotaka o te ahi ahi, Coursera Robson, Aho.